Hey everyone, this is our Shopify upgrades series where we recreate features of successful e-commerce brands. And today we've got a good one. We can see here with Lululemon, they're making great use of a video banner. So we've got social proof with the tennis player Layla Fernandez, and she's showing off their different styles. But Shopify doesn't give us this feature by default. And you've been asking for video banners. So today that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll start off first by giving you a demo of our video banner solution. We'll show you the customization settings that come with it, and then we'll show you how you can add it to your own store. We do our best to make useful tutorials, but if you need something more personalized and want to hire us to help, then check out our website at theprompted.co. Link is in the description. All right, let's take a look at adding a video banner to your store. Okay, so this is our demo store then there's not really too much to say here. You can see right away, we've got this video playing on the banner. Um, this text here is actually part of the video, uh, but we can also overlay some text on top. I'll show you that in a second. And uh, we can also set different images in mobile. I'll also show you that in a second. So um, this is what it looks like, but you can actually add this banner to any page of your store. You can add it to the collection, to the product page. It's a section. Right? So there's a lot of flexibility with it. So let's jump into the theme editor and let's actually take a look at some of the settings that we have here. So um, this is the desktop video banner, uh, but we actually can set a completely different video for mobile right down here. So we've got these mobile settings. And if we hit the mobile button, you can see here, it's just a different video. So this could be handy if you want to actually change the aspect ratio of your video. Right, so if it's maybe the same video, but looks a little bit different, say for example, this one here, then you know you can have something that works on both mobile and desktop. Uh, if we ended up using the same video, so for example, if we actually remove the mobile version, it'll just default to the desktop version. And you can see here that the height of the video doesn't quite work. So the videos that we're using here were actually uploaded to our store using the uh, files area of your content. And uh, we've just uploaded a few different options here so that we can demonstrate the mobile and desktop versions of the video banner. So it's uh, really simple to select. You just say select video and pick the one that you've uploaded. So uh, we can go back to this one, let's say, because this one's mobile optimized. And then now we're back to having two different videos, desktop and mobile. Uh, so what's next? We can actually adjust the height of the video. So we can make it smaller, make it a little bit more like this, make it larger. And uh, we can also adapt to video, right? So it takes the video's dimensions um, and we'll size it accordingly. As we start to look at more of these options, they may start to look familiar um, because they're actually modeled off of the image banner that we have by default in uh, in Shopify, right? So some of these settings here are going to line up uh, and that's because we wanted to make it so that your video banner can behave very similarly. And what does that mean? That means you can actually add some text content, right? So you can see here, uh, we can start to um, have this text overlay. Um, we can change this text to be whatever we want. Right, so this is video banner um, for the prompted, right? We can change the text however we want. We can have the subtext, we can add buttons. Um, and this next setting here actually says where we can place it. So right now we're in middle center, but we could go uh, say middle left, top left, right? We can place it wherever you want and we can also remove or keep the box. So this, these settings are going to be familiar to you if you're using the image banner. Um, so we wanted to make sure that that gets maintained. Um, we've got this desktop content alignment, right? So that everything can be left justified or right justified or center. Uh, and then in the mobile settings, you have very similar settings. So here we can change the video as we've seen previously. We can change the height like we were doing before and make this a little bit larger. Um, <clears throat> and we can uh, 
left or right justify the contents of our uh, of, of this text here. And we can also overlay the text on top of the video or not, right? And so this gives us some flexibility on whether or not we want to include text in the video itself, or you want to add the text yourself using the settings from the theme editor. Uh, but those are our settings, right? So we've got some ability to add text. We can uh, have a different video for desktop and mobile, uh, and we can change the shape and size of those videos. So if this looks good and you want to add it to your store, then let's do that now. Okay, so we're now in our Shopify admin in the themes area, and we've just installed a fresh new version of Dawn. So it's the latest version at time of recording, version 15.1.0. And uh, this tutorial should work with any of the free Shopify themes, not just Dawn. Uh, and before you start, just make sure you duplicate your theme. So if anything goes wrong with the installation process, you can easily revert back to your previous version without having to try to figure out how to backtrack everything. So um, we've refreshed our page. You can see here that it's just the image banner on our site now. Uh, and now we can add in our video banner. And so the first thing you're going to do is edit code. And once you're in here, we can actually uh, just uh, close this templates folder and open up the sections one and add a new section. And we're going to call this video banner uh, custom dot liquid and we're going to just copy and paste our code in here so you can just highlight uh, all the existing uh, templated code in here just delete that and paste in our code and save and that's pretty much it that's all the code changes it's pretty straightforward um, we're just adding a section to your store um, so what does that mean? So we can actually go to customize theme, which opens up the theme editor. And on our homepage, we can add our new section. So uh, when you press add section, you can see here at the very bottom video banner. So before we made our code changes, that wouldn't show up. But because we did, we're now getting this video banner uh, section and we can add this in. And you can see here, now we've got our video banner with a placeholder image. Let's drag this up to the top. Uh, since we're going to be replacing our image banner in this scenario, right? we can actually just hide or delete the image banner. And there we go, that's our video banner. So now all we have to do is select the video. So let's come in here, let's, uh, let's say choose this one this time. And there we go, we've got our video banner already playing and uh, we can look at our mobile version, right? So right now it just defaults to the desktop version, but the aspect ratio doesn't look great. So we can choose a different one to make that work. Uh, say this one right here. And then now our aspect ratio looks better. And uh, like we talked about previously, we can adjust these different settings here. So if we want to have some, uh, some text content on top of it, we can. If your video already has text content, maybe we just hide these so that um, you're relying on the video itself, right? And we can uh, play around with the height and size of the videos. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty straightforward customization this time around. Uh, we're adding this video banner section, gives you a lot of the same uh, settings as you have with the image banner. and you can add it to any part of your store. So why don't we go to say the collections page, default collection, and we can add uh, an image banner here as well if we like. So, uh, sorry, video banner I mean. So we can add the video banner in there, right? And we can select our video. And we can have it playing on the collection page too. So we can save that and we can refresh our demo store and there we go we've got our video banner now playing on the home page of our store and then if we go to any collection we can see it playing here as well all right so you should now have a video banner that you can add anywhere to your store i hope you found this customization useful if you did please subscribe uh, and if you want to hire us for any personalized help just reach out to us at theprompted.co thanks and i'll see you in the next one